Hello and welcome to another tutorial of web programming. Today we will be starting with JavaScript. And JavaScript is not a programming language, rather it's a scripting language. And a scripting language is not compiled, rather it is interpreted. What is the difference between a compiler and an interpreter is that compiler will going to go through your entire code and will going to look for errors. If there are any errors, will notify you and will not going to produce a machine code for the source code that you have written. As far as an interpreter is concerned, we're going to go line by line. And uh, if a line is good, it's going to convert it automatically into its equivalent code. And it's going to automatically stop as soon as it finds a line with an error. So it will not going to process any of the lines from that line onwards. But anything right above that would already have been processed. JavaScript was basically sometimes, uh, because of lack of knowledge, people get confused between JavaScript and Java. They're totally different. Java is an object-oriented programming language that can exist independently. On the other hand, JavaScript is a, a scripting language that is dependent on an HTML. Either it is written within an HTML page or it is written as an outside page saved as .js file extension and then linked to an HTML page just like you would link a CSS file. So we'll talk about that later on in this course. So we're only going to start to work with JavaScript today. JavaScript, in order for you to introduce that into your HTML page, you need to introduce a special tag called script. Now in the good old days, we used to write it like this, language equals to JavaScript. But that was good old days, so you may still find some code written like that. Most of the modern code is not written like this. Rather, we use type, and we write text slash JavaScript. Just like we would write text slash C CSS, um, similarly we write text slash JavaScript. Okay, So that's how mostly the recent or the modern JavaScript is written. And then it also has a property called language equals to JavaScript. If, if you would like to write that, you can write it. If you don't want to write it, it's not required. So anyway, after you write this, um, your browser will going to know that whatever you will be writing from here to here will be in JavaScript. Now, let me write some HTML right above this. And I'll let's say, uh, welcome to HTML page. Okay, now if I try to type the same thing in JavaScript, JavaScript doesn't recognize as plain text like that. Rather, when you are in JavaScript, you need to follow some JavaScript formatting. Let me run this so that you can see. I'll run it in a browser. And here you can see in an Internet Explorer that it says, okay, I would like to first of all, to ask you to allow me to block content as soon as I say yes. Now notice it does not displace me the other line. It only displays one of the two lines. Okay. Now I'm pressing F12. F12 is a shortcut in Internet Explorer 9 or 8 to open the developer uh, environment. So here's the developer environment down here. As you can see, I have HTML, CSS, console, script. So I'm in the script portion of my HTML page, okay? Even though over here you can see it says twice, welcome to HTML page, welcome to HTML page, but only one displays. So as I start to debug this by clicking on the start debugging, it tells me, wait, I found an error. One of the things that it found interestingly um, uh, an error oriented was line number eight. And as you can see the line numbers on the site, that's the first line in JavaScript, that's line number eight. It is complaining about that it is expecting a semicolon. We'll talk about that in just a little bit as why it's complaining about it. First of all, it didn't find anything in that line that or lives up to the standard of JavaScript syntax. So that's why I started complaining about that line. Second of all, just like in English language, all statements end in period. In JavaScript, all statements end in semicolon, Okay, which is called terminator. So let me write in the comments, terminator. Okay, This is a single line comment in JavaScript. To write multi-line comment, we use this symbol, a slash and an asterisk, an asterisk and a slash. Okay, that is a multi-line comment. Intro to JavaScript. Now, JavaScript was developed at Netscape, and while they were doing that development, 
They took help from Sun Microsystems, which was in the process of developing Java. So there's a lot of the syntactical um, similarities between JavaScript and Java. So that's why the name often gets confused. That's why when you introduce it, if you know JavaScript, never tell someone that you know Java. You know, it doesn't sound nice. So anyway, so over here, we would now like to learn how to display a message from JavaScript. Now, in JavaScript, what it has done is, for everything, it has defined objects. For example, if you would like to work with a window, let's say a pop-up window, an alert window, a prompt window, your existing window. So it has created an object called window. Similarly, uh, if you would like to work with anything on the page, in the display area of the page, if you may have, if you may recall from our earlier lectures, we use a terminology called document, like HTML document, right? Uh, or in other words, HTML page, but document is more or less a technical terminology. So it has created an object called document, which deals with whatever needs to go on the page. So we call this document object in Java, and we ask the document object to call upon a special method called write. This write method allows a JavaScript to whatever I write in the document.write parentheses, it will allow me to display that on the page. So over here, I'm going to write my message, welcome to JavaScript. Okay, now let's run this page again run in in an explorer okay now you will going to notice that both statements show up welcome to html as well as welcome to javascript however the welcome to javascript appears on the same line as welcome to html as in html in javascript it also it just putting things in document that right doesn't forces them to appear on new line just like pressing enter in an html doesn't forces the content to, the, to, to move to the new line so rather we use br okay so if i use br here they'll automatically going to force the content now to move to the next line okay so now if i write another statement in javascript let me copy this and paste it welcome to javascript in 21st century okay now I would like to refresh it again and notice welcome to JavaScript and welcome to JavaScript in 21st century appear in the same line so I must separate them well the good thing is that you can use HTML in JavaScript but you have to be careful how you use it whenever you write HTML in JavaScript you have to make sure that all your tags are enclosed in double quotes because if they're outside of the double quote, JavaScript will not going to interpret it. It will because the only thing it inter interprets outside of the double quote is something that is JavaScript. And HTML tags are not JavaScript. So anything that is in the double quotes, it presents it over to the browser's interpreter as it is, and then the browser engine will going to interpret it. So over here to break row, I'm going to use an HTML tag br. So that will automatically going to force the next line appear on new line. Now it is over here. How it appears in the new line similarly i'm going to write some other bunch of lines here so br okay uh document dot write i'm going to now make a structure an entire structure using javascript that will going to be used to produce html the reason we are learning it this way because sometimes you may have to do dynamic things you want to change the HTML contents dynamically through JavaScript. Therefore, you need to understand how to write HTML tags in JavaScript. So here I am planning on creating an unordered list of items. So let me take this syntax and copy it and paste it. I know it's more tedious than you would do otherwise in directly in HTML okay so I'll now like to refresh this and voila here you see that all the bullet items appear that as if it was written in HTML now here's the trick you can write some CSS at the beginning of this page style type equals to text slash CSS and if you may remember from our earlier tutorials this is called embedded CSS so anything and everything on this page will gonna take this property. So I'm gonna say, okay, where do you have an li change the color to red? And as I refresh this page, notice even though the HTML tags were written in JavaScript, but since there were HTML tags, 
they will going to still be able to talk to the CSS. So now in this one brief example, we incorporated all three technologies where you have seen how to display the messages from JavaScript. You use document.write, how to write HTML tags within JavaScript. And third thing that we have learned over here is how JavaScript written HTML tags could still inherit the CSS properties. Inline, embedded, external, you name it. Okay, well, that's all for, for, for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll actually start going into a little bit of programming constructs in JavaScript. Well, see you soon.